Hello and welcome to this episode of the My Rep Chat Minute. Today we're going to talk about how do you use the brand new number you created within My Rep Chat as a fully functioning second phone number. Now a lot of people were sort of like me, you have to carry around two phones for a very long time and that way you could separate business from personal and that was really the only way you could do it for the longest time. Um, and I completely understand that. And one of the things that we wanted to do within My Rep Chat was make it easier for you to separate business and personal but only have to carry around one phone. And so I want to show you how this works within my rep chat. Now I'm not going to go through all the features that are available within my rep chat. We have some different documentation and some guides within our uh, Zendesk articles that are available to users that you can learn a little bit more about what each one of them does and how they work. But I will tell you what I'm doing so you can follow along. So for this account, I've created a brand new number and I've set up the voice number as my cell phone number. Now it's very important if you don't have the voice feature turned on, if somebody calls your My Rep Chat number, then we're going to forward that to whatever number you set up as your forwarding number. And it's sort of a blind forward. The client doesn't know they're being forwarded. My Rep Chat doesn't really keep, we don't even keep a log of it and it forwards it to whatever number that is. Uh, if you turn the voice feature on, we're still gonna route calls through generally your cell phone number, um, but we don't just blindly forward it. There's a lot more stuff that we have available to you. And the reason we do that, the reason we wanna use your cellular network in this example, uh, to make this call on inbound or outbound is because you're going to get a much better call quality. Call quality over a cellular network is way different than way better than using voice over IP on a mobile phone, essentially using the internet that you might have available to you. Not to mention, if you do that, it also, if you're using your uh, um, mobile minutes or your mobile network, you might be using up your data plan, which we don't want to do either. So that's why we route these calls through the cellular network in this example, and I'll show you how that works. So for this account, uh, I'm going to call somebody from the My Rep Chat system. Now I've set up, I've turned on the voice feature and I've set it to route the calls through my cell phone. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to search for this person. We have our dial pad right here and I'm going to search for somebody in my CRM. I'm going to search for Stacy. And you'll see that once I hit the search button, it finds a list of people that are available to me within my CRM named Stacy. It's one of the greatest features about these CRM connections is I don't have to have this person in my rep chat. I don't have to bring this person in here until I want to actually contact them. So I'm going to go ahead and contact Stacy. And it's going to ask me what number I want to call of Stacy and I want to call her mobile number. So now what's going to happen is it's going to place the phone call, but it's going to call me first. So it's calling my cell phone first and you'll see my caller ID says business call. That's how I've saved it. And I'm going to go ahead and place my business call to the client. And now it's connecting to the client utilizing the cellular connection. I guess I don't need to make that call anymore. So now what's going to happen is this client's going to get a phone call and it's going to show that the call is coming from my my rep chat number. It's going to show that it's coming from the business number, which is exactly what I want because I'm trying to separate business and personal. It's also going to keep a log of that call in the my rep chat system so I can see it in the history and it's going to send a log of that call to my CRM. So sometime down the road, if I want to see how we interact, that I can see not only were we texting through this number, but we also completed a phone call through this number, or at least initiated a phone call through this number. So that's how the voice feature works on the outbound side. It allows me to call the client and it's going to show the client the my rep chat number, not my personal cell phone number, which is exactly what I want. So now I've asked Stacy to call me back and you'll notice it's routing to my cell phone and you'll see that it says business call. Now, within my rep chat, I don't want to answer this, so I'm going to silence the call, okay? I'm not going to hit the red ignore button. When you hit the red ignore button, it triggers your personal voicemail to pick up, and it makes it seem like the call was completed. Well, within my rep chat, if I just silence the call, there's a timer within our voice feature that after so many seconds, it will trigger your my rep chat specific voicemail, and that will pick up. So that voicemail stays in the my rep chat system, uh, you can answer it or review it in the MyRepChat system. It's archived, it's logged, it's all those fun things that you want from that voicemail. But again, it's separate from your personal. So you no longer have to have your personal voicemail say something like, if you're a client, please don't leave trade instructions. So I hope this makes sense. Again, there's some documentation and some guides that will walk you through the different features and how they work within the voice setup. Uh, there are some pretty cool tools that are available to you, including availability options. What times of day do you want calls to come through? What times of day don't you want calls to come through? So we've designed it so that you don't have to carry around two phones anymore because we know how cumbersome that is. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope we were able to answer the question. And thanks for checking out this episode of the My Rep Chat Minute.